Hi everyone, I am creating this post because August is Auto-Inflammatory Awareness Month and I have two auto-inflammatory diseases. Raising awareness for auto-inflammatory diseases is important because these diseases are considered both rare and misunderstood. With that, it is difficult for people to often get a diagnosis. And even beyond that, when people do receive a proper diagnosis, finding a doctor that can actually manage and care for their disease is difficult. I mean, I know people who have literally left the country they live in to visit a doctor to find proper care. Then the next issue is medication is often hard to come by. Finally, research limited. So. The point of raising awareness is to hopefully combat all of these issues. Now I'll go into a little bit about what an auto-inflammatory disease is. Often an auto-inflammatory disease is caused by a genetic mutation. This mutation causes the body to have systemic inflammation, recurring episodes of systemic inflammation. So often people will have flares similar to like an autoimmune disease, the differences in auto-inflammatory diseases, the issue lies within your innate immune system, and in autoimmune diseases, the issue lies within your adaptive immune system. So just an easy way to explain it, if you were to catch the flu, you would probably get a fever, maybe a sore throat, you feel run down, all of that, because your body is fighting this foreign invader. With auto-inflammatory diseases, you can have responses like that for no good reason. Your body just randomly gets inflamed. And sometimes it's simple where it's a fever or a rash. Not that that's simple, but more simple than the alternatives, which sometimes there's organ involvement. Sometimes there's neurological involvement. You can have failing kidneys. You could have inflammation around your heart. You could have seizures. The list goes on and on because chronic inflammation is, as I'm sure you've heard, not a good thing. So these diseases are, have to, the, they're, it's very important they're managed. And often they are diagnosed in childhood. So it's very important that these diseases become more well known so that if there is a kid, because there have been cases and I've read about them where there is a kid very sick in the hospital and they think that they have meningitis, they think that they have, I don't know, any sort of bad disease and they start treating it like that and it ends up that they have an auto-inflammatory disease and then their organs begin to fail because they never received the proper treatment. And yeah, so it's just imperative that people who have these issues get proper treatment so that these potentially really scary side effects of the disease don't happen or are at least better managed. With me personally, I mean, a lot of people look at me and they think that I'm a very healthy person and I think it's sort of important for someone like me to explain that I suffer from two auto-inflammatory diseases because I'm sure beyond the physical that the people out there are suffering from, it causes a lot of mental issues too when you're chronically ill. I want to kind of give a face to that and show you that just because someone looks healthy, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are healthy. Um, and I also like the idea that I am receiving proper treatment and I am able to do a lot of the things I want to do. I know that, that I am very lucky and not everyone even with proper treatment can do what I am doing, but I just hope to give some people motivation. And then also I hope to use my platform as a way for people to understand these diseases more. But I mean, in my case, even though, you know, I look healthy, oftentimes a flare up for me looks like a fever, a rash. I, get, I usually get high blood pressure and just, exhaustion that's like a typical flare but when it's a more severe flare i've had um my liver's involved my liver involved where my liver enzymes were critically high i've had my carotid arteries have like bad inflammation where they've been worried like i could have a stroke i've had you know enlarged spleen 
just typical. Um, I've had issues where I pass out randomly when I'm really sick. I mean, I've had a lot of scary moments and I've had hospital visits more than I would want, but I know that I am lucky and I happen to have a better prognosis than a lot of people who do suffer from these diseases. I don't know if prognosis was the proper word there, but I just, I am pretty stable and I am under really good care, so I feel lucky in that sense. But yeah, these diseases are real and even though they aren't well understood and even though there aren't many doctors who can treat them, they are typically caused by a genetic mutation. So actually figuring it out, if you are aware of the disease, isn't as difficult as one might think. When I finally went to the right doctor, um, I got a genetic test and it turned out I did have two mutations and I had exactly what my doctor had thought I had, which is Yao syndrome and Caps disease, in case you want to look them up. Yao syndrome, Caps disease, Yao, Y-A-O disease, Caps, C-A-P-S disease. So yeah, I hope to raise awareness and I hope that with that comes better treatment for people, especially, I mean, not that like one life is more important than the other, but there's a lot of kids really sick in the hospital and I hate that. Like, the majority of the people affected by this are children and I, that just hurts my heart to know there are people. And then there's people who, there's parents who their kids are super, super sick. They have no idea why they're clinging on to life and maybe they have this disease, but they don't have the proper treatment. So, super important. And I hope that you do a little bit of research. I do plan on eventually, hopefully collaborating with this uh, company called Uplifting Athletes. And what they do is they use sport as a way to raise money for research of rare diseases. So they do all different types of charity events. We want to do some sort of collaboration with boxing and see if we can raise some money for rare disease research. So. Peace and love everyone and have a great day.